this thing is not a Now I'm going to drill the hole for the threaded extension, starting with a center drill, moving on to a quarter inch drill, and then a 11 30 seconds, and then I'll be tapping it. You can see there's a little lip inside the resistor mount hole. It's because of the way I drilled it. Um, I came up and then that way. But I had a problem, which was that, uh, well, let me talk first about the way I drilled it a little bit more. Um, the way I mounted it in the vise was um, I'd mounted it on a parallel, and I was working on the edge, and I took another parallel, and I squared it with this uh, edge. I rest the other parallel flush with this side, and uh, push this flush with it, and tightened it down, and then of course hit it with the lead hammer to make sure it was tight down in the parallel. And then I went in with a, a center drill, of course, and went in with a center drill um, and I drilled that out. Um, actually I did the whole full, I didn't do the, I didn't center drill the second hole um, or I guess if I started on this side the third one either. Um, this actually is not finished, it needs to be tapped in the set screw hole but the main hole is tapped. Um, so yeah, I did the entire hole, first hole first, um, but there's, the problem I had was that, uh, I didn't actually center it in the middle, I, I didn't really feel like spending the time to f find the middle of it, I just marked it out with a, uh, jaunty vernier caliper, I mean, a jaunty caliper, and, um, it, uh, definitely is not in the center. So in order to, I don't have a, I didn't have a DRO on my mill, a digital readout, so I just put a magnetic stand behind the um, table on the mill and I put a dial indicator on it so that I could get an accurate measurement of how uh, far I was traveling because I don't, you don't really trust the... Um, the dial on the on the handle in the mill. So I um, used the indicator, and you know I measured the distance from the outside to the lip, the the, the width of the lip on either side, and set my uh, distance accordingly. And it came out pretty well, but just that little lip in there. And then for the other holes. The, the thermistor hole, I did the same thing, and the set screw hole, that's just a through hole right through to the, um, I didn't actually even really, I just eyed it up when I center punched it, um, and I don't think I even used a center drill for that hole, didn't think it was necessary, but yeah, I just got to tap it, and then that's my heater block right there, so I'm pretty satisfied, this was made with a piece of scrap, and I'm going to move on to the, um, mounting plate next.